So we all graduated in May. And what has it been like to graduate with a degree in music, move in with your parents, and start a record label with your three best friends without knowing you have a steady oh, income? This is a crazy question. <laughs> Does anyone want to start? Or um, No. <laughs> All right, I'll start. I'll start. Unless you feel strongly about no, starting. Go for it. So, okay, here's what it's been like. I would say for me personally, this has been like the most fulfilling, like, kind of part of my life ever to date and I know that it's going to keep getting more fulfilling but I feel like it's like finally the chance or I have the chance to really just do everything that I want to do like there's no more going to class for this fucking teacher or there's no more like you know writing a song for this person or whatever I just feel like we're just completely like locked into like our vision and our goal and like what we want for ourselves in life so that's great um <laughs> moving with my parents <laughs> is not bad yeah. Honestly, I think not having to worry about like money the way I used to worry about it during college is a blessing for my creativity. Definitely. I don't uh, Yeah. I know I don't think there's a like a stigma between the four of us around like being at home and st and taking those extra couple months or years, but I feel like in general there might be this idea that it's, you know, taboo. You know, 21, do you have your life together? Are you right. figuring things out like 21 and your 20s are when you're supposed to be figuring out who you are. Yeah. I think that the beautiful thing with being home is that you you get that grace, you know? Yes, you get the grace. And you, like for us specifically, I just feel like like it will be so much better for our careers long term to not have to worry about the next paycheck now and just worry about what the next song is now. You it's know a I'm necessary saying? stability yeah. that we need at this yes. time of yes. our lives. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> Big shout out to John Jetter because he kind of put us onto the mindset of like, you you don't really have the money now but you have the time you have the time and you have the energy yeah yeah, yeah. right and so it's kind of that right. like triang triangular I love that. sort I of thing i always come back to that too i always come I back to that as well. about that shit well it's it's like it's the most grounding thing that you could think about right because it's like right. the three things that like make up an artist you know what i mean break or, this or, down for me because i'm not hip to it oh facts so basically like when you're in your early 20s like you out of the three things time money and energy you have uh, time and you have the energy, right? right. Yeah. Um, and so the money's not there yet, but, but don't let the money working, be the problem basically. Right. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, you yeah. have time and energy. So don't let money be a problem. Don't let money be the thing that gets in the way of your experience. Essentially. Because, so, yeah. so when, when you, when you become like later, like in your, in your like 28, like 29, 30, you probably start to have money, right? You probably found money and, but like now you're, you're kind of on the decline with your energy yeah and you're kind of on the decline time. with your time too because yeah, like right. if you're like if you pursue Developing like a, a life exactly a wife yeah. and kids yeah you know, all that shit. and so like right now it's really important to lean into the fact that we have our time yeah and yeah. we have our energy yeah so let's just do this yeah like the europe trip bro <clears throat> that we both got to experience not yeah. together but separately that shit drained my bank account but oh, i didn't give yeah. a fuck because like in, in in 15 years i can't just drop everything and go to Europe for a month. You know what I'm saying? Because I just won't have time. I have too yeah. many responsibilities, and I'll have more than enough money to do it, and I won't be able to do it because of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I never thought about it in like a like a lifestyle way or like a leisurely activity way. I've always thought about it through the lens of like work and career. You know what I mean? Yes. Europe in so general. that's no, no, no. This triangle thing. Oh, oh. Yeah. which is interesting. I think that you say it. Like I that. think it's both. Um, I remember like when when I heard first heard. John Jetter say this it was in a, a master class mm -hmm. and um Alexander Hippert shout out Alex um was talking about like I, I want to go to London because they were like screening like a film that he had written the score for but he was like I'm not sure and then Jetter gave that oh that advice. Really? he was like go yeah. to London like like I, I wouldn't wow. be able to go to London right now because of, I have just my, responsibilities I have too you many responsibilities got, you got that's cool like that's even cool. if you don't have the money just go like you'll figure it out yeah. right you know? and Alex is also the type of person where like he comes back and like gets right back to work yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and then is that like the when you're old like you retire you have money and time. You have time and you no have energy. no energy right yeah so yeah. it's like the different phases you're never going to be able to complete all three so just don't let any of them get in the way ever period you yeah. Know yeah what i'm saying yeah. just live your life and don't worry about what you don't have pessimistically too it's like you you never have all three you know what i mean yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> right so, it's true yeah, yeah but, so true yeah, right, right but like it's also fire because like like in life like fulfillment is is where you find it like it's yeah. it, like you don't find fulfillment in like reaching every single goal that you've ever gotten to no it's just accepting the situation i feel like yeah, more being of. present dude and just like yeah like um fucking 
wealth of experience. Wealth of experience. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And like my mom will bust my balls a bit. She's like, Nick, you're broke. I'm like, (laughs) I know that. Yeah. But let's like, but like, talk to me about your week, mom. What did you do this week? You know what I mean? Like not to out my mom. She's like, oh, I woke up. I went to work. I came home. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sure. Like sure. My, fucking, Wait. my fucking week, dude, is so much more exciting. It's so much more interesting. I'm having so much more fun. Like, and I'm doing what I fucking love. And I have like three or four dollars in my bank account right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And that's enough for that's a, a, a bundle at McDonald's. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. You could eat for a whole six hours. <laughs> right. All for that. Yeah. Right. No, no, I love that. Yeah. I got I got a shout. I hate to be that boyfriend. I got a shout out at least for saying this hey. this week. She she was talking about her 401k and she was like, why the fuck am I putting money into my 401k when I want to spend this money right now? What if I'm dead at 60? And and this is, and I'm <laughs> yeah. like, she doesn't even realize That's she's talking about the time money thing. Like, you know what right, I mean? It's just triangle. intrinsically like in her thought, like I have the time and energy right now. I want to do this right now. Yep. And I'm like, I, I, I wish I had more advice other than I agree with you right now. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, like the you have to intelligent be the, person. You were just yeah. like that's facts. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, she was like, Joe, can you say something else? Yeah, and I'm like, it's uh, so hard. You're trying to think like look after yourself short term, but you're trying to look after yourself long term yeah. in the future. Yeah. Because like at 65, 70, you can't like work like every day. It's like kind of, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. But it's it's a tough question, you know. Very hard. It's very tough.